Hey there everyone, it's Baka here, and welcome to episode number 26 of the Wide World of Geek, where we look at what's new and newsworthy in the world of geek this week. Now before we get into any news, you might notice that the background behind me is a little different, no more Batman and Batgirl, um, and a door. Uh, this is because I switched way the round, I switched around the way my living room was so that there wouldn't be any horrible glare coming from the windows behind me. So now the windows are on either side of me, and if I actually ever take this when it was light out, uh, you guys would be able to see a much brighter picture. So we're going to do with this kind of crappy lighting for today, but that should take care of itself later on. So on to the news. Um, it was released today that in all new X-Men number five, which is in stores, the, I guess, tertiary or third mutation that Beast has been undergoing that was killing him has finally been resolved. Not only did he live, but thanks to the help of young Hank McCoy that he's pulled from the past, he got through with flying colors. He's no longer this kind of cat beast that we've seen from Grant Morrison's run on X-Men. He is now more of the ape-like beast that we knew before, but without the Wolverine hair. So he's kind of slick back hair, baldish, big, massively top-heavy with long, long arms. Uh, he looks decent. I'm not completely sold on it yet, but it's something I'll probably have to get used to. The second bit of comic book news is comic book movie news, or a rumor at least. It is being rumored that Joseph Gordon-Levitt could be up for the role of Peter Quill, or Star-Lord, in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Now, this is a huge departure from what fans were thinking was going to be Joseph Gordon-Levitt's next kind of comic book role. They were hoping that he would be reprised that he would be becoming Batman in the upcoming Justice League movie that let's face it is still massively in the planning stages. Nothing is set in stone with that, if there will even end up being one, the way DC movies have gone. But they've denied, denied, denied that he's ever going to be Batman. And if this rumor is true, I think it's a pretty good fit. Star Lord is not your biggest guy, but he's very smart, he's very Sly, and these are these are things that Joseph Gordon Joseph Gordon Levitt's got a pretty good handle on. And granted, he is the tenth name that has been mentioned for the possibility of being in this role. So right now, it's just rumor. There's it's neither been confirmed nor denied at this point. So we'll see. On to some gaming news. I've got two bits of news for this. First is that the PlayStation Two has ceased production in Japan. The PlayStation 2 was released in the year 2000 and has honestly been going fairly strong since then, even with the PlayStation 3 out. Though honestly, I didn't think the PlayStation 2 was still being made and that games were still being made for it. I guess you live, you learn. Maybe I shouldn't have sold it a couple years ago. Um, lots of fans are sad. I could care less. I got over the PlayStation 2 quickly. It was fun for the few games that I had for it, but I like my Xbox 360 a lot better. The second bit of news, it's not really even news, it's just something interesting that I found. I was looking through some of the news items at IGN.com, and they had a little blip about Torchlight 2. Now, Torchlight 2 is a Dota-esque game where it's PvP, and you've got a hero, and you've got minions, or an army, or whatever, and you're trying to do something to beat the other player. I'm not sure. I've never played Dota. It's never looked interesting to me. But here's why I'm mentioning this at all. When I was scrolling through, the, t the tiny little thumbnail I had, they had half a picture on there. And it was a picture that I recognized. Um, it's a picture of a djinn, or a genie that was very familiar because it was drawn by one of my former roommates, Mike Francina. So I did a little Googling, and I realized that he is one of the lead concept artists on Torchlight 2. And he's kind of everywhere when it comes to 
showing his stuff. I'll put a link down to his blog. He has not updated since September of 2012, so it's not the most active blog, but he's got a lot in his in that latest post. He's got over he's got almost 200 pictures of concept art from Torchlight 2. They're awesome. I actually teach a lesson to my students on concept art and he is one of the main artists that I reference and little did I know really that most of the art that I show of his is from Torchlight 2. Now he also worked on Warhammer Online um, and he's worked on a few different types of games. A lot of these have a strong fantasy base. So I thought that was really cool. So that's all the news in the world of Geek this week. However, I do want to make an addendum to something that I said last week. I mentioned that I would be starting a new channel, that the Wide World of Geek would simply become one show on there, and I didn't really want the whole channel to be named that. I'm changing that. I'm going to keep this channel, I'm going to keep everything on here as it normally is. But I will be adding content. I'll be adding different shows to it. And this will be happening at one of two different dates. This is when this is going to start. It will either start on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which is January 21st, or it will be starting on February 1st, which is a Friday. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just kind of for ease. Um, I've already started this. I've put a lot of videos into this now. I'd like to keep it call the channel Wide World of Geek, I don't really care, but this will become a show. On Mondays, I will be doing a Let's Play, and Monday's games will be games that are newer, that I just find interesting and want to play. I'm going to start with Halo 4, and I'll move on to games like Batman Arkham City, Limbo, and honestly, the list could go on and on. On Fridays, it's going to be a Flashback Friday. I'm going to be playing some classic games. Some will be classic all the way back to the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'll be starting with Contra, I think. I've not yet downloaded the game, so I might go with something different, but I loved Contra as a kid. Might as well see if I can pick it up. See if the Konami code still works. That's what I really want to know. And on Sundays, it's going to be StarCraft Sundays, or as I'm going to affectionately call it, Adventures in the Bronze League. Because while I love StarCraft, and I love playing my friends in it, when it comes to the latter, I stink horribly. Um, I have not yet played in this newest season, which I don't even know when they started. Um... And I don't think I played in the last season because I was too busy, but the season I played in, I didn't win a single game. That's how bad I was. I did good, but I got cheesed all too often. Uh, I don't like four gates. I don't like six pools. And that's what kept happening to me. Um, for those of you who don't know, that means that if you're Protoss, you rush to build four gateways with warp gate research, and you warp in... A bunch of units as fast as possible, and you go and you murder your opponent. Uh, six pooling means when you are at six workers, you immediately build a spawning pool, and you start pumping out zerglings, and you go and you zergling rush your opponent. It's horribly cheesy. People hate it, and yet people still do it. Because a lot of times, if the person is preparing to have a good game, they're going to fall for it and they're going to die, which happened to me. I tried to do a good macro game, build up some expansions, uh, try to get some defenses, and then get hit from behind. It's not cool. I don't like it. So I'm going to be attempting StarCraft. It might be better to consider it Adventures of the Worst Player in History. So that's all going to be coming to you either starting Monday the 21st of January or Friday, February 1st. Um, we'll see. I've got to order a couple things like a 16-foot USB cable because my PVR is going to be on one part, one end of my room and my computer is going to be on, well, 16 feet away. 
So, until I get that, I can't record any games on my Xbox. And, yeah, I could do StarCraft, but I'd rather get everything going. And, yeah, I found a place that I can buy the cord at a store, but I can get it for at least three times cheaper buying it online. Instead of 30 bucks, I can get it for 10 bucks easy. I already found that. So, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Wide World of Geek. Um, until next week, this is Bach, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.